Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of malt lymphoma of the small intestine or small bowel. Malt stands for mucosa associated lymphoid tissue. It is a type of marginal zone lymphoma, which is a low grade B cell lymphoma. Malt lymphomas, as the name suggests, do not involve lymph nodes, but rather they involve extra nodal sites such as the gut and they can also involve other organs, for example, the thyroid or salivary glands. Let's first take a look at some recognizable normal structures. And here we have the small bowel mucosa. We can recognize the finger-like villi. And these villi are lined by tall columnar cells with some interspersed goblet cells. Normally, we do see some lymphocytes and plasma cells in the lamina propria, so this is normal. This is not part of the lymphoma. Just deep to the mucosa, we have the thin muscularis mucosae layer, which is the smooth muscle layer. And then we have the submucosa and we have the muscularis propria. We can still see some smooth muscle bundles here, but this is very much infiltrated by lymphomatous cells. And then, of course, we have the serosa. So we can see that there is a very abnormal infiltrate of this bluish appearing cells throughout the wall of the small bowel. In some areas, it is full thickness. In other areas, it just involves part of the wall. And in fact, in this area, we can see that this has caused ulceration of the mucosa. There is this fibrinoinflammatory ulcer exudate here. And of course, this means that it can give rise to GI bleeding. Taking a closer look at the infiltrate, in many areas, it appears very diffuse and formless. However, there is a vague nodularity in some areas, if you look very carefully. And let's look at higher magnification. The reason why lymphomas tend to appear blue on low magnification is because lymphocytes have very high NC ratios. And this means that most of the cell is really composed of the nucleus, which is blue in our H&E stain. And hence, lymphomas tend to appear blue on low magnification. We can see that the lymphocytes are quite variable in size. We have many small lymphocytes, as we see here. We have some slightly larger, medium-sized lymphocytes and occasional, even larger lymphocytes. So this population has a heterogeneous appearance and is comprised of lymphocytes of varying sizes. Marginal zone lymphoma or malt lymphoma is a low-grade lymphoma and it has this classical mixed lymphoid population appearance. In many other B-cell lymphomas, the lymphocytes appear more monotonous, for example, in small lymphocytic lymphoma or mantle cell lymphoma, the lymphocytes tend to be more similar to each other in size. However, in marginal zone lymphoma, there is a greater variation in size with generally small lymphocytes predominating. There is a chance, if untreated, of transforming into a more aggressive B-cell lymphoma, in which case we would see sheets of large lymphocytes and perhaps some areas of necrosis. Also, we would see increased mitotic figures and some apoptotic bodies. However, if we look around, we do not see that happening in this particular tumour. So, in summary, this is an example of a malt lymphoma, which is a type of marginal zone lymphoma affecting the small bowel. We have sheets of lymphocytes, which are composed of a mixed population of small, medium-sized and larger lymphocytes. There is no evidence of transformation into an aggressive large B-cell lymphoma. And we also have an area here of ulceration of the mucosa, which may potentially lead to GI bleeding. Thank you.